Okay, so I want to show why planting hybrid seeds, if you're going to save the seeds, is not a good idea. What I have here is a giant sunflower head. This um, actually probably bloomed and matured by the end of May. <laughs> it was already done. Meanwhile, we have others that are still like just now starting to put on flowers. We have some that are just about to bloom, still haven't bloomed. Um, we have others like this one that are super duper small right here. What happened is last year in this stand we had planted um, some flowers across the side of the garden over here and then the side of the garden behind me. And we left some of the seed heads standing for the bees and the birds to enjoy. And um, when they when the seed heads dried, they were just hugely attracted to the cardinals. And so we let the cardinals just enjoy. And so then this year we had a whole bunch of volunteer sunflowers. These were all seedlings that came up as a result of last year's sunflowers. Um, as you can see, now what we have is a huge range. I mean, look at the little tiny ones right there. They're so small. They're probably a foot and a half tall, and the sunflower head is that big. Meanwhile, over here, you know, I've got, this is the biggest sunflower head I've ever seen. It is easily 12 inches across. I mean, this is my whole hand. <laughs> and I don't even reach to the center of the, the inside of it. Um, it bloomed like immediately, so quick. Um, we have some sunflowers that are probably 12 feet tall. We have some that, let me see if I can find a center, like this one, where there's no room for seeds in there, no seeds. Um, we have some that even though they had really good blooms on them, they're not gonna set seeds that, that's too small and crowded so any seeds we got from this sunflower would be pretty well uh, worthless um, and this is just a really good example um, this is actually really close to the parent plant the hybrids that we planted last year it's pretty close to what they look like um, but this is a really good example of why seeds from hybrid plants are pretty unusable in a homestead situation what you have, um, what you have is a situation where you can't rely on the crop. You have some that are becoming mature much sooner. You have some that are reaching maturity. Um, I have some that aren't even blooming yet. So it's going to be, you know, three or four more months before the seed heads are dry and the seeds can be harvested. Meanwhile, I've already processed all these, roasted them, put them up for the for the year. Um, when you are saving seeds from open pollinated heirloom varieties, you can trust that the children plants are going to be similar to the parent plants um, and they're gonna come true to type. So that's the reason why when you hear people talking about the importance of heirloom varieties, the importance of those open pollinated varieties, uh, this is why. It's because of the sustainability factor. These plants are essentially worthless. Um, to the homestead.